All right, here we go. Borderlands 2024. We're watching it, I guess, for the podcast. Alex wanted to talk about it. And I was also morbidly curious, but we both kind of agreed that uh, we would not be watching it in theaters. Um, it's out on digital already. It's a massive flop. So we're watching it. We're going to talk about it on the podcast. Uh, it has about four times as many ratings on IMDb from like people who have rated it as Mars Express. And that's sad. And as predicted, as predicted in the very podcast... The Mars Express episode, nobody's watching because they haven't heard of the movie before. So it just feeds into itself. People don't click on the video to discover new things because they're not familiar with it. Like, I want to hear him talk about Romulus. And then complain about it. All right, here we go, everybody. Ready, spaghetti. Three, two, one. Room Next Door won the Joker Award? Oh, cool. That's a weird choice. I mean, it's good. I wonder what else was at Venice. Bam, bam, believe your eyes. The fireflies. That song's been in my head the entire day because I saw like a YouTube poop edit of it. It was kind of funny. I Here's my prediction. Lionsgate is going to go bankrupt and sell to another larger company in the next five years. It's going gonna, it's gonna to happen before 2030. Five years and three months. That's my prediction. Clip it. They're just constantly making terrible business decisions. <laughs> Guns! The narration's fucking hilariously terrible. Haha. <laughs> Who's that actor? She's annoying. Have I seen her before? Wow, Eli Roth sucks at directing action scenes. This is terrible. Close shots and cuts. She was in 65? Okay. No wonder I recognized her and thought she was annoying. 
Wow, dude, psychos. You can't even believe that, like, the audio is coming from the character. Like, the dub is, like, there's no coordination. It looks terrible from, like, a design perspective. Like, it doesn't look like one of the characters from the game. Something off about it, like his body type. It's funny how this thinks it's cool. Cool, thank you. I appreciate it. I don't know what NTS is, though. Kate's like 50. <laughs> <laughs> She's like older than that, isn't she? That was terrible. Just fucking film it so, like, there's no impact to the way anything's shot. This is so painful. It's not even like an IP that you couldn't do anything cool with. Like you could easily make an entertaining movie out of Borderlands. It's 
just like Mad Max type stuff, you know, almost. You just have it be crazy. Like, we don't need exposition dumps. Like, ten minutes through the movie and that's all it is. Thanks, Isaac. I hope you enjoy. It's gay. She's so old. <laughs> I'm glad I'm watching this now and not after Paris, Texas, you know? The voiceover is just cringe throughout. Five head. Nothing satisfying. It thinks it's so cool, but it's not showing anything cool. Thank you so much, Livio. It's gonna be gay. Thank you so much. I very much appreciate that. They've also kind of like missed the window for opportunity. Like Borderlands was popular like a decade ago, right? Thank you, Ray Bread.
Oh, wait, that's Jack Black. Right? That's fucking hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> For what reason is it Jack Black? <laughs> you wouldn't know it's him unless you saw the poster, right? Like, I can tell it's him. But I think that's also because I knew it at one point. Jack Black is the new Chris Pratt. Just getting roles for no reason. <laughs> JB is the new CP, yeah. I'm glad I was never excited for this movie. I'm glad I my expectations were reasonable. It's, it's making it easier to get through. Is that funny? Is that supposed to be funny? Oh boy, this is cringe. for the little kids what's is this rated pg-13 like what it's based on a mature rated game right jack black sucks as claptrap although he's better at claptrap than than cp was at mario so It's crazy to think I'd be calling Jack Black a better actor than someone, but <laughs> that's what we got. That was a very particular spot that you shot on there, and I don't know how you determined that that would make the gate swing open. Didn't even seem like you shot like a lock or anything. You just shot the corner. I can't stand this claptrap. It's like the most annoying voice. Jesus Christ. Like that that's actual pain. Just makes me want to play the game and shoot a dagon. Thank you, Gabriel. That was a good line delivery. <laughs> you could start your own Pandoran Zoo. Oh, God, she couldn't even say that. But name's Lilf. 
Name's Lul. Lilith? Name's Lul. That's hilarious. They must have shot this sequentially because Kate Blanchett has stopped trying <laughs> at this point. <laughs> she was trying in the first scene. <laughs> Oh, yeah, she is a character in the game. That kid. Is she in the second one? They're not even going to say bitch. Yeah, she was she was annoying in the game too. It was bad casting. Jack Black's claptrap voice is like inconsistent too. What's it like it's changing? I made the right call not seeing this in theaters. She sucks. That, that like, three cuts for her just doing that kick over the ledge. That was crazy. Like, one of them was, like, a cropped zoom. Like, what was that? The editing is not great. I'm enjoying how bad this is, at least. Like, it's it's a nice... It's a nice, like, cringe movie, you know? It's better than knock knock. <laughs> I hate her. I hope she doesn't get more work. <laughs> <laughs> This is like a kid's show. This feels like a kid's television show. It's terribly directed. I, 
I mean, my assessment of the trailer was correct. That there's just like there's not enough wide shots. Like I watched the trailer, I was like, it looks like there's gonna be like no wide shots, <laughs> <laughs> and that's it's pretty much correct. Like he doesn't know how to direct a scene, especially an action scene. Oh yeah. We're all feeling a sense of relief that the characters got in the car because we were so invested in the uh, the conflict and the danger that was being presented. She's the most... I can't believe we're getting an annoying child for the whole movie. <laughs> I was hoping she would die, like, right away. Hmm. Yeah, Claptrap and Tina are competing for most annoying character. But Tina's got it, honestly. Tina's got it. The budget for this movie is like over a hundred million dollars. Yeah. <sighs> what do you mean Mouse is fine? He didn't direct that movie. Wilhelm screen, yeah, scream, yay. They just got him to like ad lib. It's piss. This is a kid's movie. <laughs> <laughs>
an actual fun Borderlands movie would kill the child, you know? Be edgy. Borderlands was, the game was a little edgy, you know? I don't remember who Handsome Jack is. Oh, he was in the second game. Ryan Reynolds? I don't like Ryan Reynolds. Thanks, James. So, no. Vor time. The classic everyone scream as the car goes over the jump. This is a very um, amusing interpretation of, like, what a movie is, <laughs> you know? I don't think Fast and Furious enjoyers enjoyed this either. This is the worst child actor. Somebody make her not allowed to act in movies, please. Honestly, children shouldn't be acting professionally. She was a little girl in Barbie. Well, I don't remember her being the worst in that, so maybe she's fine. 65 was terrible, though. I couldn't even tell you what the child was like in the FNAF movie because I don't remember anything about it. We're still doing exposition and the action isn't entertaining, so it feels like the movie's only exposition. This is maybe the worst Muse song. The best time a Muse song was used in a movie was High Tension.
Clan Harrington could do it, yeah. Thanks. It's this guy, Ross Butler. Her makeup's terrible. This is not disappointing because I was expecting a one out of 10 and it's kind of like a 1.5 right now. <laughs> so, <laughs> I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> It was great. <laughs> <laughs> Kate Blanchett said in an interview she accepted the role during COVID lockdowns because she was stir crazy <laughs> and she needed a project and that it was an impulsive decision. Which is hilarious. You know, I like the Borderlands games. I've never liked them for the characters <laughs> anyway, you know? It's not like they're doing a great job portraying these characters. Hey, there's a bug on my desk. Fuck. Fuck you. Got him. Oh, no, didn't get him. Fuck you. Still going. Fuck. Ew, now it's on the bottom of my glass. Ew, ew. Eat the bug. Nom, 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 nom. Is that Jamie Lee? My God. This movie, like, what were they thinking? People are going to see it for the actors? Look at this. Look at this cast. If they replaced Kate Blanchett with Chris Pratt with CP, probably would have made money, honestly. <laughs> Same character. It was CP and The Rock. Have CP and The Rock been in the same movie? How much is Robert Downey Jr. getting paid for the next fucking Marvel thing again? Like $60 million or some shit?
80 million? Rumor. Okay, it's not confirmed then. Thanks for all the hearts. Imagine being in a theater watching this. That would be so torturous. This is the right way to do it. I'm doing just fine. We got we got an hour left. It might get exhausting soon, but we'll see. I hope the new Avengers thing they're doing flops. I hope they spend a hundred billion dollars on it. <laughs> <laughs> and then they sell one ticket. <sighs> Fuck this stupid kid. There really aren't that many action scenes in this. And it's like, why would you base it off this game? It, it really is a lot of exposition. Like, it's the action scenes are so few and far between. Banana pants obsessed. <sighs> Everybody like the stream, okay? Click the thumbs up on YouTube. It helps in the algorithm. Thank you. We've got a record amount of viewers on kick right now. Three. Yeah, I'm sorry the YouTube chat's not showing up on the screen right now. That's Botrix's fault. I don't know why it didn't. It might work later. Oh, she's crying. And if you saw the thing that isn't in the other font, we. Oh, this movie got a laugh out of me. So. Sugar chips. Okay, now there's going to be rule 34 of claptrap in a vending machine. <laughs> it's not more than two hours long. It just feels that way. Oscar winner. Several, like a couple Oscar winners in this film. <laughs> Kate's won an Oscar, right? Blue Jasmine? She's 
Should have been for Tar. Yo, Derek, what the fuck? We still don't have the 420 awards. Scott died before the 2024 420 awards. <laughs> 420 is in the year. It's 2024. It was the year to do it. Maybe he stopped them because Scott died. He's like, it's not worth it anymore. <laughs> Interesting, Olivia. If you have a source for that, telegram me. What does that do? What is the she what did she just use? Uh, cleaned her face. I thought the movie just ended for a second when it cut to black. They paid more to have Jack Black do a worse job than the original voice actor. Right? Surely, surely Jack Black cost more, right? I know he didn't show up for the third game. Who ca like to fucking cast him for the movie anyway? Apparently, they were dicks to him or something. I don't know. It's fun how everybody in in the entertainment industry gets treated like shit, except for the people at the top I never even played the third game so I don't know you know it was never going to happen but it would be nice for the child to die a terrible death you know, if you're worried about it supporting your weight, you could go one at a time. If you're worried about it supporting your weight, you could go one at a time. If you're worried about it supporting your weight, you could go one at a time and you wouldn't weigh as much. If you're worried about it supporting your weight, you can go one at a time. Might as well have just had one person carry everybody for maximum, maximum, sorry, minimum weight distribution. <laughs> Clap chap, so funny, he squished a thingy. If I was going over the bridge, I would have a quick puke and then walk over. So I would, I would piss and shit and come and puke. So I would weigh the least. Simultaneously do four of those things. It's the only way I can come, actually. <laughs> now, you can't piss and come at the same time, I don't think. <laughs> Damn, there was a hole in that logic. <laughs> I 
I don't think you can. Extra dose of crazy, huh? Blob 1988. Should we do a Halloween Sardonic cast? Because uh, should I watch the original Blob too? What is it, the 50s? We'll see if I can time the... Is there a Guinness Book of World Records for, but for like sexually explicit things? Is like they're an official organization to see who can like, who came the most in one orgasm by volume? <laughs> Where's the lives from base emote? That one's funny. <laughs> that, I, that was my one laugh during Unfrosted, I think. <laughs> was that the movie that that happened? <laughs> 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 I like that emo. I like that Killer Bean has the longevity that it does. <laughs> Damn. I'm so happy about Killer Bean. Hell yeah, Jeff Lou. That's a very nice diagonal line that you've all made with the lift from base because of the length of your usernames. It's ordered. It's organized. <laughs> you can't. You can't do it anymore. <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> this is f more entertaining than the movie, though. We're kind of just watching the emotes in chat now. Lives from Based is like the cure for every bad movie. Ugh. I care so much that they found the second key. This is great. I'm enjoying the plot. Can we watch another movie after this? Well, I'm doing a watch along tomorrow. And theoretically, Paris, Texas will be good. Haha, <laughs> Clap Trap's going poopy. Haha, <laughs> he's going poopy. <laughs> Haha, uh, you go poopy. Literally a kid's movie. Yeah. 
that that gun motion she just did was fucking funny cringe. Like <laughs> that was like black dynamite in the nunchucks. I had an asexual gardener once. They were the ace of spades. <laughs> it's better than any joke in the movie. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Sonics. <laughs> uh, this is fun. I made the right choice watching this tonight. I'm feeling better. Not from the movie, but you know. Time to go! That explosion was terrible. They don't even, like, do anything cool. With, like, the whole... The... The... the the selling point of the Borderlands games is that you could customize your guns and they were like a, well, not customize, but that there were like a million different combinations of guns. There should be one scene where they're talking about a gun being like, this one does fire damage or where they find a really cool gun, you know? Right now, like, they're just guns. They're just sci-fi guns why did you jump off the wall to make that shot that was terrible again more like larping kids show shit happening right now Oh, I don't believe Eli Roth played the game, that's for sure. But you could at least see what people like about the game. <laughs> mm. Like, what's the point of adapting the source material at all? It's one of those, like, if this is what it's going to be, like, what? Why, why call it Borderlands? Just do some dumb... You probably would have made more money if it wasn't called Borderlands. <laughs> Uva Bull might have done a better job at this. <laughs> at least there would be some fucking dead kids, you know? Poison damage. I 
This literally feels like a kid's show. Like throughout. Feels like a show for children. Like a television show for children. Is there a Borderlands 4 coming? Yeah, when's it coming? I don't think I am excited for that. Because I didn't even play the third one, and apparently people didn't like it, so why would I be excited for Borderlands 4? I don't think I've, I'm have i ever excited for any AAA game ever. What's the last AAA game I've been excited for? Literally. GTA 6. I'm I'm moderately excited for that actually. Yeah. Yeah, Rockstar would be the exception. Elden Ring I wasn't excited for. <laughs> My expectations were that I would enjoy it, but I wasn't like I didn't play it until like 2 years after it came out. BG3 no, I was not excited for. I like spending over a hundred million dollars on a movie and every effect still looks bad. Olivia, you should replace that with Minecraft. My videos might get demonetized with that on the screen. I don't know. Apparently making fun of Hitler is hate speech. As we learned today. So. Check my Twitter. Who said that? YouTube. I got, my videos got removed. I'm trying to get Team YouTube to fix my shit on the stream channel. As happens every three months at this point, right? My P4 playthrough. What? Because I said I made jokes about wanting to fuck a girl or something. Oh, shit. Oh, damn. I'm going to have to read through this later. That sounds fun. Destiny Critical Drinker. I'll probably enjoy that. The EFAP crew should uh, have a conversation with Destiny about it, see if, uh, see if they can have a good faith uh, conversation. Oh, cool. <laughs> 
Nice. Ow, I bit my lip. It's fun that nothing's happened. It's a very uh, bland, like stale, repetitive feeling movie. Do they still have the fun flavored jewel pods in Canada? I mean, they have menthol. That's what I like. So, but you have to order them online. I haven't seen jewels in a physical store, and even then, you can only get jewel two. But jewel two is better. So, they still sell jewel one in the states. Yeah, I beat tunic before I left for TIFF. I told you this, Olivia, and you said "ug" or something. I told you what I was playing next. <sighs> There's hundreds of beavers tweeting about Paris, Texas because the 4K Blu-ray got announced, or... So they know I'm going to do a watch along. Shut up, Tina. I think we're breaking up with you, Tina. After Dustborn, could I do Nine Souls? It depends how long it takes for me to beat Dustborn. Because I have, what, two and a half Sundays here before my move? So I don't know. This is a fun flashback. <laughs> she had red hair then, too. <laughs> so emotional. That child acting was also fun. It's better than Tina, but... I can't stand your voice. <laughs> this fucking Jack Black, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
You're my only hope. A new hope. <sighs> I'm sad that everyone knows the Minecraft movie is going to be shit, but everyone's going to see it anyway. Are they? Yes. Yeah, Minecraft is going to make money. Whoa. It's so relentlessly unsatisfying what they pretend is cool. Well, I was right that I'm getting exhausted by the end of it. Only, what, 25 minutes? You're not the special... You're not a special one. Whoa. She's not a special one. Oh, my God. They should have had a scene where, like, one of the psychos is, like, fucking coming at someone in, like, a threatening way like something like intense you know so they're not just like weird background characters the entire movie but they actually feel like threatening in some way Ugh. that shot looked terrible <laughs> It's so cool.
Got her. I don't know. Well, yeah, well, I'm just lucky. I'm... Especially dead. <laughs> Because I care about little girls. Did they say that earlier? <laughs> <laughs> It's funny, right? <laughs> <laughs> A pedal. <clears throat> Metacritic there's only one positive review for this on Metacritic Screen Rant gave it a 70 out of 100 The next one after that was a 50.
Grace Randolph gave this a positive review. This is no, this is not worse than Madame Madame Webb. Thanks, Honey Nut Querios. No, this is not as bad as I thought it would be. I was expecting a one. It's like kind of a two. Not like not a. It's like a two closer to a one than a three. It's a low two. It's just like a dumb kids movie. Sorry, it's a dumb kids television show pretending to be a movie that's not for children. <laughs> uh, Zektuk, there does not need to be a positive element for it not to be a 1 out of 10. Someone else explain it. Explain this so many times. A movie with no positive nor negative elements is five out of ten. I mean, I probably have autism. <laughs> Are we getting a face reveal? Is it dream? Uh, wings. That mic peaked when he said shit. That was kind of funny. Tennis. Is that a joke? Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, the way they use claptrap, it, it's like it's amusing to think what they thought they were doing. It's fun, you know. It's it's funny that they thought they were doing something. <laughs> I mean, I don't think Kate's career is going to be harmed by this or anything, you know, so. She's fine. She'll be in Tartu. They call it Tartar. Because that movie's the sauce. Retar. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Lydia Tarr as. So there's like a fake movie in the Tarr universe. Okay. This is just what she's up to. Unbelievable.
Joe Crombie is a fun fake name. You should have went harder and did Joe Cromble. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be a good name. <laughs> She's so cool. That's some red hair. It's relentlessly unsatisfying. This is not as bad as like either of the Rebel Moon movies, right? You can still go lower. I, I would I'm gonna give this a two. It's not nearly as bad as those. There's there's room. There's room to be worse. It, it, don't get me wrong, this is terrible. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't even play Ain't No Rest for the Wicked. Are they gonna do it in the credits? Out of all the songs they could have like licensed. Is that a ho o? -oh? I want to play Pokemon. Well, thanks, Eli. Yeah, that was good. Two out of ten. <laughs> Joe Crombie. <laughs> <laughs> Randy. Ugh. They should have cell shaded all the actors. Yeah, I mean, the movie would have been cooler if they just did that. Just like a filter. Oh, why is my knee badly bruised? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I think my arm's bruised too. I bruise really easily. 
Um, and if I have like a particularly, uh, I got really drunk on one night. Like a week and a half ago. <laughs> and I guess the bruise is still there. But I didn't fall or anything. Like, I don't understand why I bruise so easily. Like, if I... Sometimes I'll just... I'll get, like, really drunk on one night every... I don't know. It seems like maybe once every six months or something. Um, I'll just, like, discover a bunch of random bruises. Even though I like didn't fall. Could be a ghost. Presence, great movie. The new Steven Soderbergh. Glad I saw that. Ed Tiff. Eight minute credits. Yeah, that's a lot of credits. Um, well, seeing as how I don't respect this movie, I'm not staying for the whole credits. All right. Thanks, Eli. No post credits. Okay. Well, you know, we got through it. It was, it was easier to get through than I thought. It was not fun. But we had some dies from Cringe. We had some lives from Based. Uh, we had enough, you know, keeping me, keeping me here, keeping me engaged. Uh, thanks, Randy. Based Randy. Um, yeah, two out of ten, two, two out of ten, I guess. Yeah, there's, there's, there's more room to go lower. I think two is fair. Could have been, could have been worse. <laughs> Not by much, <laughs> but you know. All right, I think I'm going to call it a night. Thanks for hanging out, everybody. Um, 2 p.m. Eastern tomorrow. Uh, we're doing Paris, Texas watch along. And then probably Cabin Fever right after that. So Cabin Fever around like 4.30 or 5 p.m. Uh, Eastern time. <sighs> that was fun. Thanks for joining, everybody. Yeah, I'm glad. I'm glad I got through that tonight instead of trying to do it with the other movies tomorrow i made the right decision all right thanks for hanging out uh subscribe hit the bell on the watch alongs channel and you'll know when the next watch along is even though i just told you because it's tomorrow um and i guess i'll raid someone on twitch thank you <laughs>